We have, we believe, made some progress, but not enough. We are lagging behind our peers at present. We are clear that we have to do more. We're about eight months away from the elections and have reviewed our strategy and program as a Department of Communications. We need to do more. We can help ourselves to do more by ensuring the things that we said on behalf of government this morning are actually delivered on. Uh, in other words, if we had more broadband and more spectrum available and digital migration, the opportunities will actually expand for government actually doing more. You put pressure on government. Right. Civil society needs to be organized also to put pressure on government in various ways to get these things done. I'm not implying flood pussy for Kazi's email box. Uh, I'm saying in other ways, you know, you should take to the streets as well uh, to put pressure on us to deliver on these ICT goals, which are basically uh, crucial to our economic growth, development, and job creation targets. Our strategy comprises of six interrelated aspects. Firstly, to locate ICT within the National Development Plan, National Growth Path, and the broad policies of the majority party as decided at the Mangong 2012 conference. Second, it's to stabilize the department, make it more efficient, effective, reinvigorated, fill in the critical posts. Posts will be advertised from this Sunday onwards for three DDGs and CFOs, if any of you are interested. Thirdly, a less fragmented and fractious environment. Of course, there's market forces at stake, profits, but surely we can be in the national interest, national economic interest, not least, uh, be less fractious and divided. Four, realistic and realizable goals in our program between now and April, May next year when the elections take place. Fifthly, choosing these goals very strategically so that whatever we do between now and April sets the framework for a firmer, stronger foundation for delivery over the next five years. And finally, finalizing the ICT policy review. Further cost <laughs> reduction in communications. How can it be, we ask, that our telecom operators are able to offer cheaper prices in other African countries than they do here? Notwithstanding the difficulties of the government and infrastructure, hey, it's just not credible. I read the other day, Vince, that in the, you'll know more about Sri Lanka, for three gigabytes, three dollars for a month. That's like another world, yet they're a developing society. So uh, we think that the more people are online, the more successful our e-commerce ventures will be. We're liaising with the regulator, ICASA, on mobile termination rates. We have to sensibly and sensitively move to create a foundation for further reduction in costs of communication. The needs of the users and the service providers will be taken into account. A new policy directive and transparent pricing policy will be finalized by the end of September. By the end of September, we also hope to have, without undermining ICASA, a pricing policy workshop in the department of the key stakeholders.